the video hasn't officially begun yet, but I think I can get Charlie to open up an orb before we start. Wait, 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 wait. Charlie. He did it! I mean, it's not a great skin, Charlie, but I still appreciate it nonetheless. <laughs> He's gone, dude. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to another Hextech unboxing with your boy, DJ Waste His Money. This episode is sponsored by Psycho Apparel. Except, well, I mean, they say sponsored. This isn't like, a, hey, guys, I just found this this brand new website for CSGO. Whoa. Uh, no, I, I, it's our merch. It's literally just our merch. Um, yeah. Uh, the last episode got 30,000 likes on it, and um, that's $150. So we haven't actually bought all of our orbs yet, so we're going to pick up our last set. Uh, if you want to pick up some cool stuff for summer, I mean, it's our spring line, but nevertheless, uh, grab some stuff there. I'd really, I, I, I can't express enough how much I appreciate it. So let's pick up our final number of uh, orbs. So with this, actually, we get the thing that I'm most interested in is the Pulsefire 2020 grab bags. Now we get 25 of these orbs. They guarantee like a skin shard, but they also can, I think they have a higher percent chance to get a gemstone. You can also get a gemstone skin straight off the bat. Also, you can get another grab bag. This also contains three skins instead of just one. So, but I, I don't know if like the chances for legendaries are like particularly higher. So I guess we'll wait and we'll see. Also, I turned my, my client onto high spec mode. So that there's actually animations that happen throughout the entire course of this. Listen, you, ha you can't blame me. If any of you have played League of Legends, then you know how exactly how the client is sometimes. And yeah, animations are cool, but the, the thing crashes like every 15 minutes. So it's kind of hard to work with sometimes. So, um, yeah, I mean, beyond that, like, if I, I'm trying to think of like what else we can do. I think like we should do, honestly, I think we should do like another one in bulk as far as like uh, the Hextech crate school. I'm, I'm looking to do another Hextech chess one and then maybe move on to Masterwork. So I'll say every 5,000 likes this video gets, we do 10 more chests, uh, 10 more Hextech chests. Because that was the thing that I was actually most excited to do it about. Like, the, the whole basis of, like, the last episode was, like, yeah, we'll have some goofs and gas. We'll see what we're doing. But also, it's more just, like, okay, what can the average person, like, actually expect to get from? And I know I could have just gone on the PvE and spent funny Monopoly money. But at the same time, I want to level this account, and um, I want to play in this account. And I think, like, people just enjoy watching other people lose or win money. And that's just kind of the way it goes. We did get, like, a decent profit last time. I think, like, we spent probably around $40 on um, the, the crates. And then we ended up getting about... If you boiled all of them down to just one shard, it was probably around, like, $86 worth of skin... Full skins. And then it was, like, $260 worth of skin shards, I believe. Something like that. So it's really not too bad. I'm really hoping that this will be better. But I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. So, let's open up 10. We're not gonna de delay any further. As always, the, the pricing will be above you on the screen. And then we'll do a, a full summary at the end of, like, how much we've actually made. So we've already got Dark Forge, Dark Forge Jarvan. And uh, we'll see if we actually make a profit on this. So we spent, let's see, 6,300 RP total. We need, let's figure out how much we actually spent first and foremost, right? So it's 6,250 RP. So I spent 18,750 RP. If I was to buy that, 18,000 RP uh a hundred dollars let's see yeah about about a hundred and fifty dollars give or take we'll see a hundred we'll round it up to 150 so that's the one to beat okay open 10 guardi an epic guardi the sans zerath not bad at all that's a good start good omen go spray morgana yeah i think that's probably gonna be like either a 520 or like a 725 maybe mashiko I'm willing to wager that's another 520, to be honest. I don't think it's worth much. Little Slugger Trundle. Probably 700 RP. Not ideal, but here we are. Another epic. 1350. Okay. That's like, what, 7 or $8 potentially that we've just chalked up on the board. Battle Boss Blitzcrank. I very much, I would very much like a nice little Blitzcrank skin on this, uh, on this account. I think the thing about this is that it's all, it's all gonna be skin shards. Like, there's zero chance of, um, 
at being uh there's no champion shards in this the thing that i think we're gonna make the money on as far as like you know the the return is the fact that we don't necessarily have to get a gemstone we can just straight up get the gemstone skin don't know if we will if we do then we'll be, we'll be getting more gemstone skins in my main account but still program program leblanc another epic okay dude Gragas Esquire. I thought that was actually like a, I thought that was a legendary. Or like at least like an epic. Because he has like a whole, I don't know. Probably not. Never mind. Darkstar Mordekaiser. I love that skin. Very much so. A nice Mordekaiser skin. I'll take it. Mecha Kingdom set. Okay. I mean, I, I actually kind of prefer like original set, but I'm not going to complain about another, another epic. We got like, what, four or five maybe in that, in that set of 10, which is like a really good ratio. Right. Another 10 opened. Pajama Guard and Lulu, Lulu, epic, epic. Little Demon Tristana, another epic. I do like that skin as well. Very Poggers. Legendary. There we go, baby. No, no, well, bought. That's one of my favorites, baby. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not often that the, like, legendary skin that you get is actually one that you, like, absolutely want. Like, God King Garen, I like it, okay? But, like, the Star Guardian Ari, I have not really any interest in. In our last episode, we got, like, two legendaries in one pool. And, I don't know, Star Guardian Ari, it doesn't, like... There's other skins that I would probably prefer to play, but, like, Nunu Bot is absolutely up there. Amazing, dude. I like it. Um, I mean, that's, like, a $15 skin. Just straight off the bat, boom. Pro profit is being made. Sugar Rush Zillion, another epic skin, another 1350. Full Metal Ramis, okay. I mean, I'm gonna say probably between 500 and 700. I don't, it doesn't strike me as a 975 skin, so. Underworld Twisted Feet, we actually already have a skin shard for that, so bizarrely enough, we're actually one skin shard off. Just getting him as a permanent, he is only worth like 520 um, RP though. But I mean, it'll say above me up there if I am correct. But I'm pretty sure it's 520 after because I price checked all of them. Me and Maisie, I price checked every single one in the last time as well, which was fun going through a gigantic spreadsheet of skins, by the way. <laughs> and um, that's what we found. Mythic Cassiopeia. There's nothing to it. It's just it's, it's a cheap skin. It just is what it is. It's nothing major. Blacksmith Poppy. That's actually a pretty cool splash art, I will say. I don't think anybody is really going to buy this skin ever again, though. I mean, okay, yeah, I mean, it's, it's legacy anyway, so nobody can. But you've got Astro Poppy right now as well. Like, you've got some other better. The Battle Regalia Poppy, perhaps, are all better skins than this. But that's a cool splash art. I do like that. Legendary! Another legend. And is that in the same pool as well? That's in the same set of 10. It's not bad, is it? Maisie's looking at me and she's doing like the that face. <laughs> Another skin that I actually like as well. Like, I I mean, it's he's a vampire as well. I got the vampire skin. Although I'd say like Bloodlord Vla Vladimir is like probably if I was gonna say that any skin was a hemomancer and not a vampire. If any skin was gonna be a hemomancer, it would probably be that one, right? He does look like a bloodbender a little bit. I'm and Anyway, moving swiftly on. Yeah, okay, we got two legendaries and one set of ten. Is it gonna be a third legendary in a row? Arcane Angel, I'll take it. I, I I like that skin. The effects on it are really, really sick. Uh 1350. I don't even know what we've done, but we got two legendaries in that pool there. A bunch of epics, a couple of cheap ones, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Right, so we're gonna open up four and then we're gonna open up a Pulse Fire 2020 grab bag. So every 25 that we bought, we are allowed to um, open up a grab bag. So let's open this up. Nemesis Jax, about 500 RP probably, I'd imagine. Cowgirl Misfortune. I, this is a good perspective, but at the same time, not worth much. Reaper Hecarim. A derpy looking skin. Looks like World of Warcraft classic. Fighting Headless Horseman on Halloween. Let's see. Royal Shaco. That was a pretty, that was a pretty purple. I'm not going to lie to you. But we can now open up the grab bag. I have never opened up one of these in my entire life, so I'm actually unsure what to expect, to be honest. I mean, with the with the pulse fire tokens, what can we even get from these? We got like 1,200. Uh, we can get prestige Lucian if we get 800 more. I'm not really sure how to get 800 more. I'm, I'm assuming that we have to like do missions, but I don't know. We can get eggs, uh, chromas, 
we can get more orbs is what we can get i guess like the thing that i'd probably want to be looking for is maybe like the borders the borders are pretty cool i suppose i don't know if they only last like for a specific amount of time i think riot should do more like loading screen borders to be honest like just having rank borders is kind of boring sometimes like it doesn't really matter especially if you're playing like normal so whatnot so right without further ado let's open up our grab bag let's see what we get let's see if it's worth the value of buying 25 orbs because i don't think you, you cannot you can't buy these on their own as far as i can gauge iron inquisitor kill okay it's not a valuable skin but it is a skin that i actually enjoy i like that entire skin line with singed uh and oh my god who's the other one i can't remember who the third one is tundra fizz pretty awful sktt1 we sin pretty awful not gonna lie Hi okay oh okay that's a lot of orange essence actually that is actually a lot of orange essence like that's enough orange essence for us to like pretty much like pull a legendary together yeah like that is almost exactly what you need there really which is very good so maybe we don't get much in the in the value of skins but we get a lot in the value of like orange essence ah so what we have here is we have a 30 okay right so every skin is guaranteed to be the same tier if we pull a legendary we get three legendaries so we could very easily if we there's a 10 percent chance for us to pull three legendary skins in this grab bag 30 percent chance for epic or like the other two war the war values right well regardless let's start let's keep opening these up we got another grab bag that is absolutely fantastic if we can get a good set of luck on that with a 10 percent chance to get into legendaries we're in the money here Astronautless, love it. Epic skin. Bullet Angel Kaisa, another epic. I'm getting, I'm getting, I need to start KDA Kaisa as well, actually. Two Kaisa skins in a row. I need to start buying some champions on this account, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you here. Like, we certainly need to, uh, forsake it a while. We certainly need to start getting some champions on this account. I mean, we just get, we need to get the blue essence. We can, you know, we can sort it all out. Goalkeeper Blitzcrank Legacy. I quite like this skin, but it's just because it's like nostalgia for me. Swamp Master Cannon, the Shrek Cannon skin, very nice, except it's not. Rugged Garen, Star Guardian Lux, another epic, nice, and a gemstone. Oh my goodness gracious me, dude. Okay, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking the gas. Okay, I I haven't really put a value on the gemstones thus far, but we have two now. But like the thing is, it kind of depends. Like your average you know way of getting them it could be you could get them in a free crate you could spend a hundred dollars and not get one so like it's very very strange to me valuing them i've always i put them down as kind of like a question mark value um some people are like oh this is a ten thousand dollar new skin but i am i'm unsure really i'm unsure what to say to be honest right let's open up another 10 another grab bag dude hold on what is happening? Another grab bag. And a legendary Darius Stuntmaster Darius skin as well. We've gotten so many. So many legendaries so far. Our third legendary. A gemstone, two grab bags. Very close proximity. Right. Wood Scouts, Quint. I'm pretty much like, it is what it is, right? Another epic skin. I'm pretty much like, it is what it is. Anything that we get beyond that in this, in this bag is just like, I don't mind. You know what I mean? Like, another epic. That's fine by me another epic i'm but the main thing is i'm just sitting here like yo we got our legendary for this pool we can get the pentakill sona blood moon thresh traditional karma is this gonna wait hold on is this gonna be a gemstone though it's not it's not okay i thought it was gonna be still sktt1 at least okay dude let's uh open up five more of these marquee vladimir and then I think we open up another one of our grab bags. Okay, so Battle Academia Lux. Not a bad little skin. Uh, Kawaii this, looking nice. Uh, I mean, I, I'll i take a, I'll take a not garbage Lux skin. I think I have Command Lux sitting in the inventory somewhere. So it's definitely not amazing for me to have that particular skin. I want like something else. Sand Scourge Skarner. Uh, that looks just horrifying. <laughs> That looks terrifying, dude. Nobody plays Skarner though, so I didn't even realize. Oh, another post fire 2020 graphic. Oh my god. And a groovy zillion. I tell you what, dude. I think we open up the rest of our. Honestly, I want to open up five of these ones. So I think we open up 10 more, or the 25, rest of our 25, and then we just, we work it from there. Another one. 
I think my favorite part of this so far is um, trying to sound like the the uh, dwarf from Hearthstone. Whenever you pull a card, it's like golden rare. <laughs> it's like half the fun of this. We got another groovy zillion. We're one off three. Jet, another legendary. There we go, dude. Holy Christ, man. We have pulled like five legendaries. Okay. So, five ultimates deep. Oh, wait, legendaries deep. Can I see another legendary? I actually almost thought I got it there. Elderwood Vagar. That's a nice new skin. Quite nice. Good for 1350 RP. Very nice. Vindicator Vane. Not crazy impressive, but I'm going to take it nonetheless. Right. Firecracker Vane. Two Vane skins in a row. Okay. I mean, Firecracker's better than Vindicator. Take it. Desert Trooper Garen. We don't care about Garen skins. We have God King Garen. That's like the only one that matters, right? Commando Garen. What's with the Garen skins and the Vane skins? Okay. Battle Boss Malzar. Much better. Redeem Riven, don't care, don't- But another gemstone, dude! Why, we are firing on all cylinders with gemstones, with ultimate skins, with grab bags. In fact, you know what? Give me another grab bag. He didn't do it. If we got the grab- if we got the grab bag, it would have been at the beginning. Bone Claw, Shivana, Headless Hecarim. I kinda like that skin, not gonna lie. Warden Sivert, meh, it's a very meh skin. Panta Teemo, it's a Teemo skin, it is what it is. Dragon Slayer Braum. I'm surprised that isn't a like a more expensive skin because it does look pretty cool. Birdio. I'm surprised that isn't an epic as well, to be honest. But there you go. Pentakill Suna. We already have a skin star to that. Myrmidon Pantheon. As Pantheon skin, it kind of just is what it is. I like the Pantheon skins for the, for the most part. Uh, Nottingham. Ezreal. Not bad. Frozen Shen. Pretty meh as far as it goes. Another gemstone. Back to back gemstones, dude. Holy moly. All right, last five of these. Reaper Hecarim. We got another one of them. Blade Queen Lissandra. We actually have a Blade Queen Lissandra already, actually. Wood Scout Quinn. Wildcard Shaco. Snow Day Bard. Another epic. I think we already have one of Snow Day Bard, actually. Let's see. What have we got doubles of so far? Groovy Zillion. We have two of. Two Pentacle Sona. Two Reaper Hecarim. Two Royal Shaco. Two Underworld Twisted Fate. Two uh, Wood Scout Quins. It's most nothing major. Not, the, the main thing is no no like double epics is what I'm saying. Well, apart from the Blade Queen Lissandra. We just got that one though. Nothing major on that one. Right. We have a 10% chance of getting three legendaries in a row. We've already opened like two. One or two. So we have... I'm hoping that we get a little bit better than 10% luck. Tundra Fizz. Beast Hunter Sichuani. RT Warfare Caitlyn, 1050 orange essence. Okay, so if we get if we get an epic or a legendary, we know that all three are going to be epics or legendaries. So let's open another one. Infernal Galio, that means that we're getting three three epics in this bag, right? So Infernal Galio, epic. Budman Twisted Fate, epic. I Blitzcrank, epic. And then 1050 orange essence. Okay, cool. Epic or legendary? Pulse Fire Sona, okay. Another epic bag. Star Guardian Janna, another epic. Nightbringer Vladimir, epic. 1050 orange essence. We are getting a mad amount of orange essence, by the way. Like, this is going to be what we use to actually just redeem all of the stuff that we want. Tarik, Lumen Shield. I'm not, we actually gotten pretty damn lucky with this to be fair. It's a 30% chance of us getting uh, the epic, and we've gotten three in a row now at this point. So, Super Galaxy Elise as well. Star Guardian Ezreal. And then 1050 orange essence. We've got two left. Give me the. Give me the. Ah, oh, no, we got the the cheap one. And it sucks. The orange essence kind of pays for itself, though, right? This is the last bag. Please, please give me the legendary bag. Please give me a legendary bag. I beg you. I beg you. Oh. Hi, Command Carina. Blood Moon Shen. 1050 orange essence. Well, you know what? We gave our best shot. We did damn well. We did pretty damn well, I have to say. There is absolutely nothing wrong with what we just what we pulled in this entire thing. I mean, here's going to be your pricing up on top of the screen. I and here and it will also compare how much we spent with how much we gained in skins. And uh, I I don't know. It's hard to pull like a, a a value to orange essence really. But I mean that is like definitely of some value to some degree. So like 
maybe we'll see like maybe like uh like how much is it to 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 do a, like, a legendary skin 1500 so i guess we'll see like every 1500 orange s's is maybe like five to ten bucks probably as far as like a value goes um but nevertheless right if you did enjoy this if you did enjoy the mad pools mad spending considerable amounts of money and and of real money not pbe money and getting some profit going i'm pretty convinced we made a big profit here to be honest then please consider subscribing like the video if you want to see me up some more and i'll see you all later have a great one enjoy quarantine as best you can honestly i'm glad to have been able to stick around with you for like 20 so minutes today have a good one